Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, we'll start now with the first subject uh, in this course. Uh, the first subject will be waves. Uh, there are three types of waves, actually. Uh, there are what we call mechanical waves, there are electromagnetic waves, and uh, matter waves. But first, we have to know what, what is a wave. A wave actually is a motion of a disturbance. So you, may, you make a disturbance, and the motion of that disturbance is actually the wave. Uh, it is known that mechanical waves, they need a, a medium to, to propagate or to move. You need a medium uh, to produce a wave, first of all, you need the source of the disturbance, and you need a medium where the, this disturbance is going to move. Uh, that's for mechanical waves. However, uh, uh, let me give you an example of mechanical wave. Mechanical wave will be a sound wave. Sound wave is a, is a mechanical wave. So what is the source? The source are the, your vocal cords, and the medium will be the air between, uh, between me and you. So uh, you will receive the sound in your ear, uh, and, and, the, and then the, the medium is the air. The air particles are going to uh, transmit uh, the, the, the sound wave. Another type of mechanical wave will be the wave in, on a string. And this is, we'll, we, will, we will see this in this course. Uh, the other type of mechanical or, or, of, of, um, waves in general are the electromagnetic waves. And electromagnetic waves, they don't need a medium actually. They can uh, travel in vacuum even. L like uh, uh, examples will be light, uh, microwave, X-rays, gamma rays, all of them, all these, they don't need actually a medium. Uh, actually, we receive the, 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 the light from the sun, and we know that outer space, there, is, there are no uh, air molecules, there is, no, uh, there is no medium, and vacuum is vacuum, and we receive light from the sun, and therefore, uh, uh, the uh, electromagnetic waves, they don't need actually a medium, and they travel at a constant speed, which is the speed of light, which is 3 then to power 8 meters per second. This is the second type. We're not going to study this type of waves. Uh, our focus in this course are about mechanical waves, but I'm just giving you, know, giving you a, 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 an overview about the type of waves. The third type of waves are the matter waves. Uh, later, maybe some, somehow in your uh, educational uh, life here at KFUP, and you might uh, go through uh, the concepts of matter waves where uh, matter can behave as a wave. Uh, electrons are very well known that electrons can behave as waves, and uh, this is the, what we call matter waves. So we are going to concentrate now on mechanical waves, okay? So mechanical waves, as we said, they need a medium, okay? Mechanical waves. So mechanical waves, they, they need a medium to propagate, and there should be a source of the disturbance, because actually waves are, is a motion of this, a disturbance. There are two types of mechanical waves, two types, okay? We have what we, what we call longitudinal wave, okay? And we have what we call transverse. Longitudinal wave, an example of longitudinal wave will be sound waves, okay? Sound waves. Sound waves, they need a medium and they need the source of the disturbance. And an example of transverse wave will be waves on a strings. Wave on a string. Okay. Now let me give you. Uh, a, uh, 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 let me give you the. Uh, let me show you the difference between transverse and longitudinal wave. As you can see here in this animation, we have the source of the disturbance is here, and my medium is this. Uh, uh, this uh, this uh, string here. There was. A, imagine that this is a string. Okay. And now we are going to start uh, moving up and down to produce the wave. So the disturbance now is producing a wave. As you can see, the wave now is moving to the right. As you can see, this wave is moving to the right. So the wave has a, has a direction because it is moving. So we say moving to the right or to the left. Now you can see, if you look at this point here, the maximum point, you can see it is moving to the right, and we notice some, something very important, that it is moving at a constant rate. So the velocity or the speed of this wave is constant. You can see it. 
It's, it's not accelerating this, this wave, okay? So the wave is moving at constant speed. The other motion that we have to, to take care of are, is the motion of the particles of the medium. And as you can see, let's take this point here, the green point, is moving up and down, as you can see. All these points here, they are moving up and, up and down. The points that makes the medium, they are moving up and down, and the wave is moving to the right. So what is the angle between the, mo the two motions? The two motions are perpendicular, okay? So wave on the string, transverse wave, the motion, we say that the motion of the wave, okay, and the motion of the particles are, motion of the particles are per per perpendicular, eh? particles. Particles are perpendicular. When these two motions are perpendicular, we call we call these a transverse, transverse waves, okay? The motion of the particle, so uh, to, to know uh, do we have a transverse or, no, or longitudinal wave, we have to look at the, mo the two motions. So we have two motions. We have the motion of the wave and the motion of the particle uh, which are making the, the, the medium, the medium of, the, of, of this, uh, the, where, where the wave is propagating or moving, okay? So when these two motions are perpendicular, we call this transverse wave. Now, I'm going to show you now longitudinal waves, okay? Where, uh, uh, and you will see the difference between the, these two. Now, this is air molecules, and there's a piston here, it's not shown, there's a piston here, as you can see, it is, uh, the disturbance is this piston here, which is moving uh, left and right, okay? So it's pushing, it's pushing on the air particles, and these air particles, uh, 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 you have to be careful. They are not moving in this direction, the air particles. If you concentrate on one, so you have, you have the, if you look at this part here, it's moving to the right. It means the wave is moving to the right. You can see, if you look at carefully, yeah? Now, let's look at one particle here, specific particle, the red one here. How is, this, how, how it, is it, it, its motion? You can see that it's moving left and right. It's oscillating. Just like before, the particle there were oscillating up and down. Now the particle here is oscillating left and right, and the wave is moving to the right. Okay? So you can see here the wave. The, the black arrow is showing the motion of the wave. The, the, this arrow here is mo showing the motion of the particle, and you can see the particle is not is oscillating about an equilibrium point. Okay, it's oscillating right and left. So the motion of the wave is to the right, and the particle is moving right and left. So how how are these two motions? They are parallel. Okay. So longitudinal wave, we have the motion, the motion of the wave. Okay, and the motion of the particles, so be careful, you have two motions. Eh? The motion of the particles making the, the medium, the medium uh, particles are parallel, are parallel. So the key word here is the parallel and the perpendicular here. Eh? So if the motion of the particle and the motion of the wave are perpendicular, we call them transverse waves. An example are the wave on the string. If the motion of the particle and the motion of the waves are parallel, we, we, we say this longitudinal wave. An example are sound waves. Thank you.